What is up beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really fun, glittery, intense, kind of a get ready with me kind of first impression video today using some new goodies that I just recently acquired as well as the new Pure Celebrate Your Selfie palette right here. This has been out for a minute, so I'm sorry that it's now me finally doing my video on it. But you know what? I wanted to pick this up and just do a review for you guys. And it's such a pretty and bulky palette, but at the same time, you're going to get a lot of colors inside of here. So obviously, I'm going to do a look with this palette. I'm going to do a look with some other new things that I got as well. So if you want to see how I got this intense, glittery, crazy look, then keep on watching. As you can see, my eyes are primed and my brows are on, and we're just going to dive right into the eyes first, obviously. We're going to go in with a pretty massive celebration palette. This is the Pure Celebrate Your Selfie palette. You can see the cute little confetti that's kind of in the packaging. You open it up, you're going to see all the shadows in here, and you're going to see a cute little 16, because this is technically their Sweet 16 palette. They are now 16 years old, so congrats to Pure for hitting that milestone. So now, let me just show you guys some swatches really quick, because of course I know you guys love that. And we have some interesting formulas in here too. We have Passionate, Shook, Inspired, Extra, Motivated, Pure, Devoted, Glamorous, Fulfilled, Emotional, Excited AF, Confident, Hangry, Loved, Hyped, and 110%. And we also have the blushes and the highlighter, obviously, that is lit, snatched, and flirty. So you're going to open it up and you're going to see a lot of stuff in here. And you also are going to be getting a lot of stuff on the other side, too. You're going to get a little, little lip gloss, a little mascara, and, of course, the Diva lashes, which are actually my favorite lashes of all time. We're just going to dive right into a look with this palette. But as you can see, it's so cute. You want to go in with like a berry toned kind of eye, obviously, because those berry shades are just like calling my name. So I'm going to go in with the shade Loved first. Next up, to kind of warm up this look even more, I'm going to go in with a shade right next to it in the shade Hyped. say really quick while I'm blending this out I actually really love Pure's new eyeshadow formulation I believe that their eyeshadows are now like vegan and gluten free and also I believe they're also talc free now too but I don't know there's just something about the formulation of their shadows now that just blend so easy and so pigmented the outer corner that kind of goes into the crease I'm gonna go in with the really nice purple shade called excited AF Now just a touch on the outer corners, I'm going to go in with the shade Confident right next to that. Now for the lid, I really want to go in with one of these glitters, and these have such a creamy, glittery formulation to them, so I'm probably going to just use my finger because it's probably the best way to apply them. I'm going to go in with the shade Inspired right here. Now we're gonna come back to finish off the rest of the eyes, obviously. I'm loving that glitter, it is so pretty. But it's time for foundation. I'm already primed and ready to go, so no worries about that part. But now I'm gonna try another first impression that I just got in the mail, and it was on sale for one day at Ulta, and I was like, might as well just get it. So it is the Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Foundation. I'm in the shade Ivory, which is the lightest shade. This shade range is atrocious. There's like 12 shades, so of course, I think they need to up their game when it comes to their foundation range. But this is supposed to give you a medium to full luminous finish. I do like the idea of that, and I'm hoping that it's going to be really good. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to look like.
as I'm blending this out, I will just say, I feel like recently I've been having a lot more issues with pores. I don't know what that is. I mean, I guess it might be like me getting older. Like, I mean, I'm only 24, but like before I never really had any issues with like pores showing up. And right around here around my nose, it's like I can see areas where there might be issues with pores. About to apply my concealer. I'm going to use the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the shade P Light 2. I don't know what it is. This concealer is so damn good. I'm really liking it. But let me just talk about my foundation. Like, honestly pretty excited so far. I mean, I don't know how it's going to look when I set it with a powder, but so far, oh my god, it actually looks really good. It gave me full coverage without going so heavy with it, but at the same time, like, it gave me a luminous finish without it looking, like, super dewy and without it looking like a gel, and it went on beautifully. Like, I'm not mad at it at all. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised so far, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not mad. I feel like this is a good foundation. Now, how long does it wear? I have no idea. Will I try that out? Maybe not today, but I will be letting you guys know what I think of it later on in the future. So now my concealer and powder is on and ready to go. It is now time to go back in with the eyes. I think I'm going to love that foundation because when a foundation looks good and applies great with my sponge, and if it wears well, like if I try this on and it wears well, then I think we got a solid A plus right here because I've had so many bad outcomes with foundations recently. Loving that one so far. Back in with the shade Hyped for my lower lash line. And I think I might go and put a little bit more of the inspired glitter right on the lower lash line as well. I know that sounds a lot of craziness right there, but then we're gonna see what happens after that. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Confident again, just kind of add a little bit of smoke to that outer area. Last step for the eyes, I'm going to go in with the shade Devoted right here, which is going to be my highlight shade. So the eyes are blended and ready to go. I have a little bit of issues on the outer corners, but honestly, it still looks okay. I'm going to put on some mascara and some lashes, and I'll be right back to put on the rest of the face. So now that the lashes are on, I also threw on some bronzer as well. And now it is time to apply some blush. I'm going to go in with the blush that's right here. I'm going to go in with the shade Snatched. Now it is time for some highlight. I'm actually going to go in with not the highlight that's in here. Um, I kind of want to go into something a little bit different. Since this look is turning into like a really intense kind of look, I really wanted to go in with something a little bit more intense for my highlight. I want to go in with the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the shade Mirage right here. So this is my first time trying this product out. I've seen it. I've played with it on my hands before, but I've never actually put it on my face. So we're just going to drop just a little tiny bit of it and just see what happens when I apply it with a beauty blender. So that came out a little weird. I'm going to go in with the lit highlighter that's in the palette. Just kind of pop that right over top. Um, the glitter was not easy to control. So like I have a lot of glitter weirdness right here and right here. So it wasn't really easy to like blend onto the face. So I don't know how to feel about that. I think I'm going to have to play with that on like bare skin instead because I like my skin to like just pop more with a little bit of like a liquid highlight. So maybe that will work better. And last but not least for this look, I'm going to go in with a little lip sample from Pure that I got. And it is in this shade Twinsies. It is one of their new like liquid lip stain kind of formulations. Okay, 
Okay guys, so here is the final look with this get ready with me first impression kind of video. So of course the color the cover effects, glitter drops, not exactly sure how I'm feeling about that so far because like I said, went a little crazy and it didn't really apply as beautifully as I want it to. Like it looks pretty on my hand, but everywhere else is kind of like, mm, kind of weird. So really quickly, let me give you guys my final thoughts on these two products that I did use as a first impression. The Laura Geller Filter First. I actually really like this one. I will play with this a little bit more before I give you guys like a real final thought on it. It is $38 for the foundation and I'm in the shade Ivory, like I said. The shade range is atrocious, but the formulation is so far pretty good. And also the Pure Celebrate Your Selfie Palette. This one is $49, so it is a little bit pricey. You're getting a lot of product in here, and it is pretty bulky, though, too. I wish it was a little bit thinner. Um, but at the same time, you're still getting a lot of product in here. It's really, really cute. And of course, I mean, you never know. It might go on sale pretty soon. If you want to get it when it's on sale, get it when it's on sale. If not, it's still a really gorgeous palette. I do recommend it, especially because it's really cute. It has a fun vibe to it, and I'm just loving the whole vibe of this palette. So... I do recommend that palette just because it really did work really well for me. I had a little bit of issue with some blending right on this side of my face because I did not powder it or whatever happened, but honestly, it still looks pretty good anyways. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the very near future. Love you. Bye.